Gordon's whistle. Gordon was cross. Why should Henry have a new ship? A ship good enough for me is good enough for him. He goes gallivanting off the crew, leaving us to do his work. It's disgraceful. But there's another thing. Henry whistles too much. No respectable engine ever whistles loud at stations. It isn't wrong. But we just don't do it. Poor Henry didn't feel happy anymore. Never mind, whispered Percy. I'm glad you are home again. I like your whistling. Goodbye, Henry, called Gore next morning as he left the shed. We are glad to have you with us again. Be sure and remember what I said about whistling. Later on, Henry took a slow train and presently stopped at Edward Station. Hello, Henry, said Edward. You look splendid. I was pleased to hear your happy whistle yesterday. Thank you, Edward, smiled Henry. Shh, shh, can you hear something? Edward listened. Far away, but getting louder and louder, was the sound of an engine's whistle. Sounds like Gordon. And it ought to be Gordon. Gordon never whistles like that. It was Gordon. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. He didn't look at Henry and he didn't look at Edward. He was purple in the boiler and whistling fit to burst. He screamed through the station and disappeared. Well, said Edward, looking at Henry. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't wrong, chuckled Henry, but we just don't do it. <laughs> and he told Edward what Gorn had said. Meanwhile, Gorn screeched along the line. People came out of their houses. Air raid sirens started. Five fire brigades got ready to go out. Horses upset their cars. And old ladies dropped their parcels. At a big station, the noise was awful. Porters and passengers held their ears. The fat controller held his ears, too. He gave a lot of orders, but no one could hear him. And Gorn went on whistling. At last, he clambered into Gorn's cab. Take him away, he bellowed, and stop that noise. Still whistling, Gorn puffed sadly away. He whistled as he crossed the point. He whistled on the siding. He was still whistling as the last definite passenger left the station. Then two fitters climbed up and knocked his whistle valve into place. And there was silence. Gorn slunk into the shed. He was glad it was empty. The others came in later. It isn't wrong, murmured Henry, to no one in particular. But we just don't do it. No one mentioned whistles.